Kuda lover. Gotta learn to love the Kuda. <laughs> Your boy's nice. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jimmy Dean again. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome to the Dean Zone. But if you're one of my subscribers, or you've been here before, welcome back! <laughs> and that's it right there, players. This is my best class setup for the CUDA. You've seen it. ELO Sight, Rapid Fire, and Extended Mags. Now I was torn between two setups. My other setup I like to use, which I won't put on the screen, but I'll just tell you. I like to take off the ELO sight and throw on grip. But I was torn between the two, but I chose this one because it's the best for me. Because I want to improve my accuracy, but I feel like the ELO sight does it just enough. But if you need that grip, go ahead and switch it on out and make it do what it do. Anyways, before we even get into the gameplay and the commentary, I want to ask you guys a question. Because I've been wondering, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos. Players have been putting up their stats and everything else. Do you know the average KD is a .85 in this game by most players? Michael Condry tweeted out about a month ago. The average KD in this game is a .85 for most players. So what does that make a good player in this game? I'm just saying, is it a 1 KD? Is it a 2 KD? 3 or 4? I'm just saying. What makes you a good player? Is it your score per minute? Is it your win-loss ratio? Is it KD? Is it every game you go 110 or every game you go 30 and 1? I'm just saying. That first half, you see your boy, I went 13 and 6. It is what it is. But this second half, oh, I'm about to turn up. I'm about to go ham. You about to see the night cool men do what they'll do best, and that's put people to sleep. But anyways, back to the topic. What makes a good player? I'm just saying. One of my favorite players in this game to watch is definitely the Market J. Market J puts up 100 plus kill games all the time. And if you've seen my last video, that best class setup for the Razorback, your boy went 110. I got 100 kills, only died 10 times. But does that make me a good player? Because the Market J's KD is a 4.6. All these 100 kill game plays he puts up all the time, and his KD is a 4.6. So he's just like everybody else. Sometimes you take L, sometimes you don't. So his average game is probably like, what, 40 and 8 or something like that? It is what it is. I'm just saying. Like my average games, I normally I'll get in the lobby and I'll go like 38 and 6. That's just a regular normal game for me. But if I put those up, am I a good player? I don't know. You tell me. My score per minute is not that high. I'm a camper. I love camping. My score per minute, I think, is like a 3.33 or something like that. But I run around. I run and gun. Like I said in that Razorback video, I got 100 kills and I run and gun the whole time. Or I camp hard like a boss in my HVK video and I go 79-1 and one with a 68 kill streak. But does that make me a good player? Because my win-loss ratio is terrible because I play 90% of the time by myself like I am in this gameplay. I can't dictate the win all the time. I can't always backpack my teammates and carry them to victory. Sometimes they just not that good. Like I said, Michael Country said the average KD in this game is a .85. So you tell me. Make sure you leave it in the comments. Let me know. What makes a good player? How do you play the game? Why do you play the game? I play the game for different reasons. My KD could be way higher than what it is. But... Like you see my gun. It's icy. I already have diamond SMGs. I got diamond LMGs. I got diamond ARs. I got a diamond rocket launcher. And if you didn't see my player, which you will see him at the end. I got hero gear on my notepad. <laughs> Hold on. Scratch that. Rewind. Not the notepad. The nomad. And in order for me to get hero gear for this nomad, which is my favorite specialist... I had to achieve something that was harder than anything I think I've done in this game so far. I had to unlock every specialist gear. Do every specialist challenge just to get here. I'm just saying. Does that make me a good player because I was able to do this? Does it make me a good player because I was able to get all those guns diamond? 
I'm just saying. Or would it make me a better player if I was running around here with a 5 KD? Or if I had a 500 score per minute? Or if I had a 2 or 3 win-loss ratio? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you guys. Make sure you leave it in the comments. Let me know. What do you think makes a good player? Now, do I think I'm a good player? Personally, yes. I think I'm above average. I got over 2 KD. I think I'm at like a 2.5 right now. So I'm well above the average. But I play the game for fun. I don't go sweaty, try hard every game. No. Like I said, if that's the case, I wouldn't have went for none of these diamond camos. Because some of these guns just aren't that good. But I got to get out of here and make it do what it do. I wouldn't have went for the hero gear for the Nomad. No one had to use every specialist in the game. Every power weapon, every ability. Just to get here. I could have sat back, camped out like a boss, protected my KD. I don't camp every game either. I like to run and gun. I like to improve myself. I like to test my limits, test my abilities. I don't run with scavenger because I pick up guns off the ground. That's why I play to get everything diamond. I play to better myself. I know I'm a monster. I know I'm a beast. Do I need those stats to back it up? I don't know which one is important to you. I don't know which one is important to me. But I do know why I play this game. I play this game for fun. I play this game to get better. And I play this game because your boy is nice. I'm just saying. I hope you've been noticing the gameplay because I'm on a monstrous tear right now. I finished that first half 13-6. and six. Did I panic? No. Did I bail out? No. I'm still having fun. I'm out here making it do what it do. I'm a score streak assassin. I love getting kills with my streaks. I wouldn't care if I jumped into a lobby, got 10 gun kills, and 90 score streak kills. Because I'm good at that. I'm great at that. I'm just saying. I don't know nobody better than me with these score streaks. But I might not be the best score streak assassin in the game. Who knows? I may not be the best gun skills in the game. But I got them. Oh, I got gun skills. Trust me. I done had them on layaway at Walmart and I got them out. Check in the cash, baby. They here. I'm all about that life. I play the game smart. I play the game strategic. Would I be better player if I ran around reckless with my head cut off? Like a chicken? No. I'm just saying. I play the game for fun. It is what it is. Do I want dark metal camo? I don't know. I really don't like sniping. I'm just saying. But if I was an elite sniper and that's all I did was snipe, would that make me a great player? I'm just saying. Y'all leave it in the comments. Y'all let me know. It is what it is. Your boy done turned out. Your boy done went ham. Look at that. As soon as I jump out the box in my service, I'm putting him to sleep. Oh, man, it's like a fresh pair of J's. You know as soon as you pop them out the box and they killing them. <laughs> that's how your boy's doing it. But that's it. You see the stats. 70 and 8. And I'm on ESPN Top 10 once again. Dun dun dun. Dun dun <laughs> Let's go, man. But that was my best class setup for the CUDA. You see me putting in work with it when I had it in my hands. Don't forget to smash that like button for your boy. Let's go, man. And leave a comment. Let me know. Because I really want to know. I need to know. But it is what it is. You see me. Look at that. Your boy is looking nice out here. You know how I'm hitting him with that. <laughs> Let's go, man. <laughs> oh, man. It's hard being nice out here. But that's it, y'all. I'm out. Peace, love, and hair grease. One. Your boy is nice. Quietly. <laughs>